Hey guys, what's going on? This is Justin here from BaseballFitnessTips.com and I want to start a new series where I diff- I talk about different strength training tips that I find out and that have helped me and I can pass them along to you guys so you guys can you know achieve more strength in the weight room and uh, just really build your body to the way that you would like it to be built. So um, today I'm going to talk about a little concept called hyper irradiation. Now it's a difficult word to pronounce, and some of you may be thinking, well, what the heck? What is that hyper radiation? What does that even mean? And I'm going to explain that a little bit in this video. So there's plenty of videos on YouTube, plenty of resources that go over exactly what this concept is. But basically, this will allow you to lift more weight instantly when you were in the weight room. So I'm going to give two examples today. I'm going to give the bench press, and I'm also going to give the deadlift. And I'll teach you how to implement this concept. So like I said, it's basically to increase your strength in the weight room and um, it literally will work instantly if you implement it correctly. So on the bench press, you're lying down on the on the flat bench and as you go down, you may come up and you'll probably notice a sticking point. There's going to be a certain point, maybe when you're uh, three, four, five inches above your chest that you just, uh, you, you're, you know, your body's shaking, you cannot lift that weight up. And what a lot of people end up doing is they'll, you know, raise their butt up really high and they'll look, they'll look just kind of like an idiot and they, they won't be able to get the weight up anyway, or they'll be using completely their butt and not their chest, which you want to build your chest. You don't just want to be able to throw the weight up with your butt or your lower body. So what hyper radiation does is it, obviously allows you to lift more weight and it allows you to drive through those sticking points. So for example, if you were to um, lower the weight and get to that sticking point, maybe three, four inches, what you do is you squeeze the bar as hard as you possibly can. You just squeeze it like you're about to break it in half, like you're about to crack just a stick. You just squeeze it as hard as you can and You also want to squeeze your glutes, so you squeeze your butt cheeks as hard as you can while you're squeezing your hands. Just act like you're going to snap that barbell, and most of the time you should be able to get through that little plateau and uh, that little sticking point. So that's the first exercise. That's how you do it with bench press. Um, The reason why I did an example with bench is because that's when a lot of people seem to have the same common sticking points, and also it's a very common lift. It's not something that um, very few people do. You can use that in all different sports and stuff. So um, bench press, there it is. Now deadlift. Another thing that I notice all the time is I see people do deadlifts, and their body is kind of just slouched, and you know they're not ready to go when they pick up the weight. So that's another thing. Be ready to go when your set is about to occur but people will you know go grab the barbell and they'll just be kind of slouch their body position won't be very good just slouching down and then all of a sudden they just try and and just just lift the weight up all muscle and you know that's first of all it's really a way to get hurt when you're completely relaxed one second and then all of a sudden just kind of jerk and put all that weight on your back and on your legs and your muscles so what I like to do is it's almost like a little pre-pump type thing a pre-lift you could call it Um, I like to you know obviously get my position and get ready to go mentally and then I almost do a pre-pull where I where I try and drive my feet through the floor. I really focus on just driving my feet and almost pulling it a little bit, pulling the bar a little bit without lifting it off the ground. And then, you know, a split second after that, then I go do my rep. And so that's just a way, it's a little bit different, you know, doing bench press and doing squats and deadlifts. It's a little bit different on how you use hyper irradiation, but it can be used in almost every single lift and it'll allow you to lift much more weight. So I just wanted to share that simple strength training tip. Uh, it definitely helps me out in a variety of different lifts. I've been able to achieve um, a lot of strength over the past few years. You know, I used to be pretty weak and now I'm, I'm starting to get pretty strong. And not to say that I'm massive or huge by any means, but I, I'm slowly, you know, seeing muscle sizes increase and I'm also seeing definitely strength increase. So that's been my biggest thing. Um, and hyper radiation is one of the things that has helped me out. So I'm going to keep passing on these strength training tips and these principles to you guys. Let me know if you're enjoying them. And uh, I really wanted to talk to you guys. Let's get some more uh, subscribers on YouTube on this channel and also some Facebook fans. Uh, Our numbers seem to be a little low there. YouTube, you know, they're kind of slowly increasing. I think we're at like 1,165, I want to say something like that. So I'd love to shoot up to 1,500 as soon as we possibly can. Um, uh, Twitter and Instagram, those I would also like to build. They're pretty low right now, though. 
Um, but you guys can go find me on there. It's Baseball Secret 1 and Baseball Secrets 1. So just one of them doesn't have the S. Uh, but man, really, YouTube and Facebook, let's get those up. Especially, you know, YouTube, I can connect with you guys every few days with videos. But Facebook, if I have an instant update that I just want to send to you, whether it be a quote, whether it be a giveaway, uh, just a little tip that I'm not going to make a complete video for, uh, or even a discount or free stuff, that's where I send it first is just Facebook. So uh, make sure you're on my Facebook page, YouTube channel as well as my mailing list. Get on baseballfitnesstips.com, put your email address on there, and you'll get notified of all the videos and stuff. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a comment below, like it, so I can you know keep making these strength series. And uh, hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm going to head to class. I uh, got a little microeconomics today. So I'm going to head to class, and I will see you guys in a future video.